Hey there YouTube, it's your girl Zorochi. Welcome to my video on how to program Bogren's Crim Drums in Ableton. First off, if you could hit the like and subscribe button, it'll really help me out. Second, I'm going to skip the installation steps because Bogren already has a video on how to install Concat 7, Crim Drums, and how to use them in Reaper that I will link in the description. You can follow those exact same steps. The one thing to keep in mind is if you've moved your plugins directory to a different directory than the default directory, you will need to move that concat7 vst3 file into your own custom directory. Uh, it's something I personally ran into and it's just something to note down if you use a non-default directory. So I've got Ableton fired up over here and you can see I've got the plugins opened VST3 plugins, native instruments, and Concat 7. If we want to start programming drums, it's actually really, really easy. We can drag Concat 7 over to here, and that'll open Concat. Then we can click this button, and it'll load Crim Drums for us. Now, some of you may already be familiar with how a piano works, but if you aren't, the piano roll starts on C0, and it goes to D, E, F, etc., back to C1, and then more notes, C2, etc. You'll notice when I clicked those specific ones, it made drum sounds. So how we're going to program our drums is we're actually going to program them like we were programming MIDI piano music. So I'm going to resize my Ableton window a little bit here. And that's just so you can see both sections at the same time. We need to actually create something in our MIDI channel here in order to start programming these drums. So give it a double click. We always want to turn off this loop. That's just not something we want when we're inside of this view inside of Ableton. The one thing that's interesting is your end does have to be one measure longer than how long you want your measures to actually be. So we're going to set this to two to give us one measure, and you'll see how that expanded. Then we have to set the length over here to one as well, so we get a full measure. Now if I zoom out, you'll see I've got a full measure over here. Now if we want to program our drums, we're going to have to look through this piano roll. So you can see we've got C1 here, and we've got C0 here. If I hit this button, we can hear we've got a bass drum. So it's pretty simple. Now all we need to do is add those kick drums. So if I double click each of these sections, we're going to create some 16th notes. And then if I hit the play button, we got a double kick. It's pretty slow tempo, but I didn't really change any of the default stuff. Um, so next, what are we going to need? We're probably going to need a snare drum and some cymbals. So let's figure out where those are on the piano roll. Okay, so we can hear where those are just by kind of clicking through and you can hear the different sounds. I personally like this one. So back to our piano discussion, we've got C3 here. This one's going to be D3. Some nice ride sounds. Now if we click the C sharp or the D sharp, we're going to get some different sounds. Very cool. But I'm just going to go with the D0 one to make everything easier. Or sorry, D3. So we scroll up to C3 here. We hear that doesn't make a sound because there's nothing mapped to C3, but if we click D3, that's the exact same sound we were just hearing. So let's add some cymbal hits. And what I'm doing is making these cymbals quarter notes because we don't want them to be 16th notes with the drums. I mean, maybe you do, but for the sake of this tutorial, we just don't really want that. So now. Sweet, we got a beat that's kind of started. So let's go a little bit further. Ah, 
there's a snare drum. So this is going to be C, D, E, F. So we want F0 or F sharp 0 for this one. Let's go back over to here. Now we're on C3, so we got to scroll back down to C0. And we've got to find F0. So that's a snare sound. Or F sharp 0. Also a snare sound. Slightly different voicings, which is really cool. Um, that was one of the things I really liked about Chrome Drums. But this had some snare sounds. And now we can hit play. Sweet! Now we've got a drum beat. If you use that concept, you can continue to build out more drum sounds and eventually you'll have a whole drum track that you can play your guitar to, or your bass to, or really whatever you want to play. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it was a helpful way to learn how to use Crim Drums in Ableton. Again, if you could hit the like and subscribe button, it would really help me out. Until next time, stay heavy my friends!